It's my, uh, it's my pleasure and my honor to announce the valedictorian of the class of 2023 and 24, Julia Preston. Please come forward. Please come to the Please front. come forward. Congratulations. And we're there. all waiting to hear your speech. You have all just heard 23 summaries of thesis papers and had a mini course in child rights. I promise I will try to keep this brief. Here. <laughs> Dear esteemed professors, faculty and staff members of Leiden University, classmates, alumni, new students, and family and friends joining us here in person and online, good afternoon. I must also say a very special good morning to my two children, Emil and Felix, who are watching back home. It is a privilege to be here today with you all and say a few words on behalf of the class of 2024. We arrived in Leiden a year ago, we blinked, and suddenly here we are today, celebrating our graduation together. We would like to begin by saying thank you to Leiden University for giving each of us the opportunity to undertake this advanced LLM in international children's rights. We would like to thank our program director, Professor Ann Skelton, her dedication to children's rights, her endless intellectual curiosity, and her pragmatic approach to solving any problem has empowered us over the past year to question, to advocate, and to be tenacious in our fight for children's rights. Her uncanny ability to seemingly be in five places at once, while always remaining fully present with whomever she is with still baffles us. We would like to thank each of our professors, faculty members, and lecturers for helping guide us on this journey. You challenged us to question long-held beliefs and see complex issues from a different perspective. You believed in us even when we may have not had confidence in our own abilities. Your passion for dissecting every word of the CRC, a general comment, or a concluding observation was contagious. You were kind and you made us laugh. And we would like to thank our program and academic coordinators for being the backbone of this program. You have a deep appreciation from us for all that you do. The preamble of the Convention on the Rights of the Child, a document we studied extensively over the past year, begins by recognizing the inalienable rights of all members of the human family. This concept of the human family is a striking one. And it goes to the heart of the convention, which is at its core about both family and reaching across, across borders and cultures in a united way. The convention not only encourages international cooperation in working to uphold the rights of the children of this human family, but it relies upon it. The document draws its strength by recognizing we cannot do this alone and we are in it together. So it is fitting that our work here over the past year has been consistently intertwined with and shaped by what we have learned from and about each other. A group of people from across the world, each bringing their own background and life experiences. We will do well to model our work going forward on this feeling of connection. In thinking back over the past year, I recall one of our first meetings together where Dr. Clapp took us through an exercise asking each of us to write down anonymously on a sticky note what our biggest fear was about the year ahead. Someone I still don't know who had just written winter. We all empathized. But people had also written fears about never having completed a thesis before about feeling like they had nothing to contribute to class discussions, and about taking a leap of faith, uprooting their lives and coming to Leiden. You have all been brave in the sacrifices you made to be here and in overcoming the obstacles that came our way this year. The year has been filled with challenges, both academic and personal. We've taken exams that stretched on for days, we have given so many presentations that I suspect we each know each other's speech patterns, mannerisms, 
and favorite turns of phrase by heart now. We've written at least eight papers at some point I lost count, and we've each written a thesis. Collectively, we've faced medical issues and illness, family loss, a lack of housing, lack of childcare, lack of sunshine. We looked on as global events had devastating impacts on children and many times battled frustration when the world felt like such a dark place. Again, through all of this, I've always felt that our superpower is that we were in it together. This superpower mirrors the strength of the convention itself, the power of the human family, and an understanding that we must insist on working together across differences and divides. We arrived here a group of strangers, but we so quickly became a community. We have relied on each other in many ways this year. We challenged, pushed, and supported each other during class when we wrestled with complex topics. Outside of class, we came together to celebrate special holidays, birthdays, and engagements, and to learn about each other's cultures and families, and to find connection and joy just being together. At this moment in time, children's rights are being infringed upon from what can sometimes feel like all directions. There are the devastating and relentless world events, war, genocide, climate change, poverty, pandemics. There are the quiet things that we must be the ones to name. Racism, sexism, xenophobia, discrimination against LGBTQ children, the list goes on. There's no way around the fact that we are facing an uphill battle as practitioners in the field of children's rights. In our work going forward, we will undoubtedly feel discouraged at times and alone, but we will not be alone. Whether we are quite literally calling on a former classmate across the globe for help on an issue in their area of expertise, or simply turning back to the memory of a message or a frequently used sticker, in our WhatsApp group that we laughed at a little too loudly in the library as a way to lighten what will sometimes feel like dark moments in our work ahead. We have been changed by this year and by the rich, diverse, and thoughtful community we have built. One made up not only of our class, but of every single person in this room, the vast array of lecturers and practitioners we have exchanged ideas with over the past year, and the countless child right advocates across the globe. And this change will serve not just ourselves, we will take our experiences here and translate our communal strength into meaningful impacts on children's lives. What a gift we have been given. I challenge each of us to keep pushing back, keep standing up for those who are the most marginalized, and keep using our voices, knowing that we speak with the power of the human family we have built here this year. To my classmates, I want to ask you to do one last thing for me. Take a moment, look at the people on your left, the people on your right, look around this beautiful room. Solidify this moment in your minds and return to it and to each other time and again as you go forward with this important work and change the world for the better as I know each of you will. If you'll indulge the class mom one last time in my favorite turn of phrase, my dears, I am so proud of you. Congratulations.